just got home from work. What this one doesn't know is that dad's coming home with a surprise for her. Josie, are you enjoying your last few minutes as an only pup? Do you know what that means? Are you gonna get a sister? Josie, are you having a good day? Enjoying the sunshine with your mom? <laughs> such a good girl. You could be such a good big sister. Hmm? Teach her how to play with Tank. Teach her how to be good and how to cuddle. So you know mom loves to cuddle. Teach her how to sploot. You gonna teach her how to sploot? Can you teach can you not teach her this? Can you not teach her how to shed this much? What do you think? So we are having them meet for the first time in our backyard because it's kind of a neutral zone. No, not that Josie is very territorial at all. Um but we just want to make sure that it's a safe spot for Joe's and for Puppy. Huh. Yeah, because he's a good girl. Yeah. You are. You are a good girl. What do you think? Hi. <laughs> you don't even know what's coming. You don't even know. You gotta teach you how to be good while we're gone. Ow. Hey, be careful. Okay, and how to go potty outside? What do you think? Can you do that? Can you do that, Joes? Oh. <laughs> and maybe chase your tail, because that's cute when you do that. When you chase your tail. <laughs> when you chase your tail. Careful. Teach her not to be a barky dog. Oh, here she is, Josie. Where is that, Josie? Where is that? Hi, baby. Hi, Mama. Look how cute she is. She is really cute. Josie and I were just talking about what it means to be a big sister. What do you think? Good girl, Josie. Good girl. Put that fur down. Good girl, Joes. Good girl. Hi, Mamas. Where are you going? Yeah, you're so scared. You're so scared. Josie, get out of her butt. Oh, oh my God. Is that your sister? Oh my gosh. Because you're good girls. you good girls. You give her kisses. What are you doing? Is that, is that perking you up? You like Josie? She was so scared in the car the entire time. You like your sister? Okay. Want to do some exploring? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh my god. That makes my heart warm. <laughs> Look at Josie, put your hair down. You're not scary. She wants to play with you. Hi, come here. Come here. Come here, mamas. There's come a tail here. on your face. I know, Josie's got a your sister's got a big tail, huh? What do you think? What do you think, mamas? <laughs> You're not too sure? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Do I play? Do I not play? What do you think, Joes? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thing is, if she really is four months, that means her yeah. paws really aren't that big. No, that's true. You sniffing her butt, saying hello. Tink, what do you think? No, she, she didn't care. No. Just as long as the puppy's nice to her. Yeah. I thought she was just going to go lay in it. <laughs> Had 
tilting a little bit. Do it again. Do it again. Sister, you happy? You shared your cheese with her. That was super nice. Wasn't it? Oh, yes. I, I'll get you chewing on yours too because it's just, just as adorable. You're a pig. I love you, but... Calm it down there, buddy. And then there's you. You like them cheesies, huh? These are so good. Does that feel so good on your little teepers? Does he just like some cushies? How fatty is that? Already becoming best friends. Huh. Huh, Gemma. Okay, Gemma, one whole day you've been here. What do you think so far? I think you had to get a bath today. I think you've been playing with your sister outside. Hi, <laughs> baby. Whole game, game, game. Where are you going? What's up, everybody? Um, this is not where thought today was gonna go but unfortunately Gemma has not been feeling super hot um, she's been really sleepy the whole time we've had her but we just assumed it was because she was really timid I mean we've only had her for a day and plus a couple hours um, but this evening we found some blood in her stool but she was still eating she was still playing with Josie, so we kind of waited it out a little bit. Um, but now she's not eating anything. Her dog food, chicken, pumpkin, rice, nothing. Won't drink anything and hasn't moved. You can see she's just, she's chilling in our lap right now, or my lap right now. This wouldn't have happened any other way. <laughs> so we are on our way to an emergency vet hospital about half an hour away from our house to see if they can help us out. So here's us being real, real life. Wish us luck. If you ever wanted to know how we cope with things, we find what's open at 10.30 at night on a, what day is today? Tuesday? Yeah, it was Twiget Tuesday, so it's Tuesday. Luckily, there's a Sonic open, and <laughs> we're getting a whole bunch of random shit, <laughs> stuff, whatever. So yeah. Look who's coming home with us. Y'all, that was like the best vet experience I've ever had in my entire life, especially as an emergency vet. Absolutely. Like, fan-freaking-tastic. But, good news, not Parga, they found a worm. She's got a worm, which honestly we should have suspected, but we're glad that's all it is. And they sent us home with some medicine and they gave her some anti-nausea medication so that she didn't throw up on us anymore. Yep. <laughs> Should we go in like, good to go in like five days? Yep. It's just a five day. Wow, oh, whoa, I know, what is he doing? What's Papa doing? Um, but she's already, I mean, she's tired. You tired, huh, mamas? She's already in better spirits than she has been most of tonight. She was looking around at things and like reacting to sounds that she heard. So it's almost midnight. So, I mean, considering we didn't uh, start this adventure until after nine. I think we're we're doing all right, and 
and we're just we're very very glad that it's something as common as this and that can be treated. Yep. What a roller coaster of a time. Yeah. <laughs> but we did. They told us to go home, and we live like half an hour, 45 minutes away from there. And my friend that works there texted us and was like, "Hey, don't go that far. Like they're gonna call you sooner than that." And then they did. And so we went to Sonic, like you'll saw. And then we went and found a parking lot that had multiple pokey stops on it. <laughs> and we caught some Pokemon and we caught some pokey stops. And there was a gym there. And not like, you know, to toot our own horns or anything, but we definitely defeated the gym and took it over. So, oh, yeah. Sucks to suck for them, but it's our turn to earn some coins. Happy endings do happen, babe. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Day six with Jim and the new pup and the dog chasing and playing each other, playing with each other. Good girls. What's up everybody? So we have officially had Gemma. Almost two, two weeks. weeks. She's super healthy now. Like, plays around. No more worms. Done with her medicine. Solid poop. Solid poop. We even changed her food again because she was on like the chicken and rice diet. And so now she's just on her normal puppy food that we'll give her for a while and then we'll switch her over eventually to the same food Josie gets. Um, She's also warmed up to us a lot. Big time. She greets us when we come home and is like excited for us to come home. Um, she's actually like with me especially, has like nuzzled up to me a few times and like, hold on. <laughs> a little windy. Yeah. And um, anyway. We have kept them in the pen together, like when we're at work, and it's the cutest dang thing. They just sit there and cuddle all day, and then they'll go outside and play for a little bit, and then they cuddle some more. And no accidents in the pens at all? Yeah, definitely not coming not out on that one. Yeah. She's still a little apprehensive to go into different parts of the house, so that's what we've started working on. Like, we started bringing her into our bedroom more and, more and like putting her on our bed and just kind of getting her comfortable with that. She's actually fell asleep on our bed the past two nights. Like while we were in there hanging out, I fell asleep, he was hanging out. Um, but we still have just been putting her in the pen at night just cause we don't know if now that she's feeling better, if she's gonna start getting into stuff. And that's kind of where she feels the most comfortable. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna put her in her crate. We'd rather have her in the pen where she can go in, in and out. Um, she knows that our alarms, when she hears them from the bedroom, mean that it's time for us to get up. Which means get food and get breakfast. Mm -hmm. So she's been a little bit more vocal in the morning, but we're ignoring that so that that doesn't continue. And yeah, Josie and Gemma are literally like... Best friends. Oh my gosh, the best of friends. And it's so cute. And you were right. <laughs> Josie needed a friend. I didn't know Josie needed a friend. That wasn't Tink, but Gemma has definitely proven that Josie needed a friend. Big time. So, yeah, we're glad we're, we'll obviously continue to update you guys about our animals because they're our kids and most of what we do is hang out with them. Yeah. So they'll be in future vlogs, but this was kind of a big deal bringing Gemma home. Josie's been an only dog since last June when we lost Jackie. So this was a big step for us. This is a big step for Josie. And then we got to rescue Gemma as well. So um, like she just came up to us, but then when we go to pick her up, she doesn't like very much. Wanna say hi? Come here, Josie. Josie. 
Joe's toes. Oh. This is Gemma. Look how good she's being. Huh. Come here, Joe's. Still a little timid. Yeah. She's definitely more timid around me than Sierra. But yeah. Finally. Warming up. A puppy that likes me a little bit more. <laughs> but there's been no, like, no dominance issues. Nothing. None of that, which we're very grateful for. And not even with Josie. Like, Josie hasn't even really tried to be dominant or with alpha food. or anything. They share everything. Yeah. They'll go from one tree to the next, to one toy to the next, and just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's 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 bunk your schnoz. But, if you want to see more of these guys and us, make sure to subscribe to our page. Check out our other videos that are coming up. We are live on Twitch, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We'll have the links below. These guys actually have their own Instagram as well, so we'll drop all of our socials, um, our Twitch links. Etsy shop. Our Etsy shop. It is Autism Awareness yeah, it is. Month, uh, as of today. Yep, officially April. So if you'd like to support and help us, um, donate to SARC, which is a local uh, autism research and resource center here in Arizona. We will be donating um, part of our profits of making these shirts to SARC. 20%, um, right? 20%, yep. So help us out, help help us help them out. Um, they're an amazing local company. And yeah, we'll see y'all next time. Peace, y'all.